Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is John with Education Solutions Online, and I've gotten a few questions about how you can set up a, a group project within Microsoft Teams. And so I would like to show you how I set up my group projects. And uh, in, in this um, particular one, I set up uh, partners here to work on a PowerPoint presentation simultaneously. So I will show you step-by-step -step how you can set that up. Um, and then how you can get your students to, to work together and then be able to present their, um, their project online live using Zoom or with Microsoft Teams meetings. So if you like this content, please do be sure to give it a thumbs up and also please do subscribe to the channel so that you can be updated with any future videos that come out. So thanks a lot and let's get into the video. So before we get started into actually how we do group work online or in a hybrid style, uh, the first thing I would like to touch on is why it's important. And if you look at the World Economic Forum's new vision for education here, we can see that among the core competencies, uh, collaboration comes through um, as the uh, the fourth most important one as, as far as um, how students approach complex challenges is concerned. Um, so getting them to work together with a partner or with other group members is incredibly important. But if you also look at this now, uh, we can see that uh, they would also use communication. Um, creativity comes into this as well because they're actually producing uh, a PowerPoint slide and they've got to do research together here as well uh, to create something on their own. Um, and they're also, uh, if as long as the um, as long as the project is challenging enough, they can also uh, cover the critical thinking and problem solving skills as well. So you can really hit on all four of the, the core competencies of 21st century skills here by, by completing group work. And also keep in mind that this can be done even if you're, if, even if you have a, um, an in-class um, face-to-face classroom with all of your students here, you can still get them working on Google Classroom or uh, whatever LMS that you're using, if it might be Microsoft Teams as well. Uh, and it also works for a hybrid so you might have students who are, are at home learning virtually, and you could combine those students with uh, people who are in, uh, in, in the classroom physically, uh, or you can have it completely online. And that's what I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it completely online here. All right. So the first thing that you'll wanna do is get a list of all of your students along with their email addresses and put them into a Google Sheet or into an Excel spreadsheet. So what I've done here is I've taken, um, uh, I've blurred out their names just for privacy issues here. But um, I've put them into, I've got 10 students in this class, and I put them into five different groups. Now, let's say if you've got 20 students, then you could put um, four students into five different groups and, and make it work for you. So however many students you have, um, that's, uh, that's what you'll do here first. Um, and then I color code each one of the groups. So I've got uh, group one is orange, and then we got a light orange, blue, green, and then purple right here. So uh, once you get your email spreadsheet all set up uh, with your students' names and their email addresses, then you're gonna switch over to Microsoft Teams. And let's take a look at Teams and see how you can take these uh, student names in your list and uh, with their email addresses and then place them into specific groups. So now let's take a look at Microsoft Teams over here. So I'm looking at my second screen right now. And once you open up Microsoft Teams, um, I've already created mine, but I'll just show you very quickly how you can do that. You'd go to join or create a team. And uh, right here, this very first option, you would create a team. And I'm making, uh, in my uh, particular case, I made a new class here. So um, if you've got several different classes, then try and get creative here with how you name everything. But um, for me, I just wanted to try this out with one class. So all I did was just made group one, two, three, and four. And uh, then you go ahead and you would um, apply this. So let's just say, for example, if I were to make group six and try this out, as soon as this creates a team, uh, you should see this populate onto Microsoft Teams right here. Um, and then you're going to search for your students. So that's where you can go back to your spreadsheet and you would take the email address from your first groups. You've already organized your groups. So you take uh, the email address and you would copy that, paste it in, add the student, copy it and paste it in for, for each of the students. Um, and, uh, and then once you do that, it will automatically add those students to that particular group. 
Okay, so um, I'm not going to do that because I've already put my students into specific groups already. So here's what it looks like. Um, this is a, a blank group right here. Um, I don't have any members, but uh, this is also where you would add your members if you have if you'd forgot to do that. Um, again, adding the members uh, right here. That's just going back to your spreadsheet and then uh, adding it in via the um, your your students' email address. Um, and then that will add in, uh, you'll, you'll see them populate here. And then what you're going to want to do is um, uh, you'll come over to files. And I'm having my students collaborate on a specific assignment, which is where they've got to create um, a new or invent something new or improve on a current product right here. Um, so they've got to create a, pre a PowerPoint presentation. So I came over and I made a new PowerPoint presentation right here. And uh, I called it group one, group two, group three, uh, and then place their names in there. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, so once you create that, then then the students can start can start editing. Um, I'll take a look at at uh, one group right here, uh, group one. And what I've done is uh, I've uh, I've already set up their files. So we've got their group one PowerPoint. Um, these students are currently in breakout rooms, and um, they're supposed to be working together to to come up with uh with their particular idea so we've got uh right here we've got group one um they've already come up with a new design um and they're they're currently working right here on their uh their first their first set of slides so you can kind of uh you can go in and out um you can even start a conversation with your students if you need to right here um so i can see the changes that were made um, you can see that both students are working on it right now. So I'll close that out. And then you can jump over to group two as well. Uh, and you can kind of jump in and out. So there's group two. Uh, I can see how group two is doing. And uh, I'll come over here. This is the file that I made for them. And we've got here, should have there is group two. Okay, and we'll see how they're doing right now. And as soon as this one opens up, uh, we can see, okay, they've got a few more slides. That's really good. Um, and they're they're coming along quite nicely here. Excellent. So it looks like they're, uh, yep, they're working together right here. Perfect. They've already at least set the design for their for their product. And, um, and I can tell that they're doing great. So I can also see any changes that were made as well. So um, in the following class, these students are going to, one of the students will share their screen and they'll do a, um, a group presentation here. Okay, so finally, once you have your teams all set, um, you've set up their PowerPoint presentations and you, um, you, you put them all in, uh, into their, their separate teams and they, everyone understands what's going on with, uh, with the group project. Then I put them into, we're, we're using Zoom at the time, so I, I suppose you could actually use breakout rooms in MS Teams. Um, for my particular class, we're using Zoom. So I put them into the individual rooms. I, I assign them to specific rooms here. And uh, with, our, um, with our breakout rooms, of course, this is according to our groups. So right now, my students are, are in the breakout rooms here. And I told them that if they need to call on me, they can, they can, um, they can call for help, and I can also jump in and out of the um, in, into the different rooms here to give them some specific individual help what? here. You bring it to the store or send it, or we will send the expedia. This is bring a warranty. Warranties you can receive by buying this backpack. This backpack is a project in collaboration with an Apple. So we think. We want to sell with a target of 2 million yen. We mainly work for four items. One is solar energy. Second is ZPS. Third is designs and finally is collaboration request for other companies. So uh, I really do hope that this was useful. If you have any questions at all about how to use Microsoft Teams or how I'm using it, uh, please do feel free to comment down below. Also, if you like this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.